Hi, this is Johnny Cope here. Uh, I thought I'd just make a short video showing you uh, some of the range of brass jaw hops that I'm currently stocking on both my eBay shop and my Amazon shop. I'm going to start off with this one here, um, which I'm calling the uh, Oval Mini. Uh, you can see from my hand uh, roughly uh, the size of that. These are all uh, either f uh, flat brass, constructed brass or cast in brass. Um, and most of them have removable tang or tongue. That is, you've got the screws on here where you can undo it and replace the tang if you need. I would say that uh, in many years of playing, I've never managed to break a tang, um, but occasionally uh, I've had people getting in contact with me that that's happened, either it's been stood on or something like that. But as long as they're played correctly, uh, it's virtually impossible to break one of these. Um, almost all of these are designed to be plucked inwards. This is a common mistake that people are plucking them outwards, which seems to be a regional variation playing style. Uh, try and get used to plucking them inwards only, that is towards the ear or into the mouth if you like. So this one is quite small and neat um, but has nice clong, uh, strong clear sound and nice clear harmonics. sustain but not so long it's quite short so it's good for faster melodic playing um, we can also hold the tongue um, this is a special technique holding between forefinger and thumb and plucking putting it against the lips rather than the teeth you can make a kind of water drop sound which is quite fun If you release the pressure as I did there, you can vary the pitch slightly. So that's holding between forefinger and thumb. That's a nice technique on that one. Now I'm going to turn uh, to what I call the, the small. So again, my hand for comparative size. Uh, these are a little bit more open in their shape. It's kind of almost a figure of eight shape or a guitar shape, if you like, which is quite pleasing. Um, these are cast in one piece and then the, the tang is set in with that screw there. These also have very nice clear, a little bit longer sustain than the last one, softer blade. So slightly longer sound there. And again, with the open um, shape, even easier to reach in and pinch the frame for that. Again, on uh, tensed lips, that that's not teeth at all. These ones, because they've got a longer, softer tongue, uh, they're usually safe to be able to pluck both ways using this technique. Kind of fun. Basically, because you're you're pinching the the tongue, it's safer to pluck it both ways because uh, the you're stopping the the movement before it hits the frame. Basically, plucking them outwards because it's stressing against the frame in the direction it's not intended. They can often snap or snap at this end where it's a little more fragile. I would even suggest that it might be worth heat, heat treating uh, this joint if you're planning to play it very fast like that and last a bit longer. So that's the the small. Then on the site, uh, I think I'm currently calling these the Mini Special. Uh, they're a little bit smaller for comparison than the one we just showed. Not too much though. Uh, but they're nice and chunky in that they've got a nice kind of uh, angled section frame, nice and thick. And these are, have got this extended tongue or tang out the back. And that's sort of mimicking an uh, Indian more, more Chang and more Sing style. So it's, it's kind of easy. I put my thumb against there and finger, fingers against the frame. Nice long sustain for its size. Also can do the, the water drop effect with the pinching as shown previously. It's 
So again, versatile little harp. Now I'm going to get a little larger, and this is what I'm currently calling medium size. Um, so again, going back to the small, you can see comparison sizes there. Um, these are around uh, 12 centimeters long. Cast in one piece in brass again, and with the screw fitted tang there. So much easier to hold for those with bigger hands or anyone that's uh, suffering from hand cramp and don't like holding small harps. These are easier and chunkier to hold. Much lower sound. Must stress that all of these currently, because they're being made um, in a, um, a community factory uh, in, in, in forest in Vietnam, uh, the fair trade as, as far as we're able to make it. But um, the point I wanted to make is that currently these aren't uh, tuned. They're, they're just random notes. But usually the larger ones this size are lower pitched than the ones previously. General rule of thumb. Nice long sustain. And that longer sustain and the longer blade allows it to react very well with breath. For example, if you're breathing gently out or pulling in, either to pull in to kind of shorten the sound and, and deaden it, flatten it slightly, or rhythmical kind of breath effects like that, which are quite fun. Next, this one has been very popular at uh, events I've been going to recently. Um, this one is similar size to the last one shown, but uh, has this very thick, heavy frame made in two parts. So it's actually a separate piece on here, which is clamping the blade down using two sturdy screws. And I've called this uh, Yakut after uh, the city in, um, in northern Siberia, in Sakha, um, where they play the hummus. Uh, it has um, very similar tones to that, and so I'm going to play it in that style, which is taking the hand this way and dropping. Very much longer sustain from a, a softer, longer blade. Very nice, clear harmonics. Currently one of my favourite type of harps that uh, they're really enjoying those. And the last one in this series, uh, currently the largest of the main types that I sell, uh, apart from some specials, is this one which I'm calling Large Fancy, um, obviously due to its, its moulding. It's based on um, an older style uh, English harp, um, so it's got this very complex shaped um, brass moulding, all cast in one piece, and again the blade fixed in with a screw. Really very easy to hold, really get the whole thing in your hand. It's quite a substantial harp, this. These ones uh, have a very stiff, strong blade. Um, so not for the uh, faint of heart because they give a little bit of vibration to the teeth, but you're getting a very loud sound. And the way that the blade has been tempered and shaped, it's a little bit uh, hump-backed, if you like, right flat on one side and then very humped on the top, a little bit like a morsing. So very strong, direct sound. So it lends itself to playing that sort of uh, Indian uh, style of playing where using some breath to pull in and then very very good fast playing harp really nice and loud so if you want to make some impact then that's the one to go for so I hope you've enjoyed this little review. That's currently all the brass harps uh, that are on my shop. So uh, go and check them out and uh, I'll be happy to send them to you. Uh, see you again soon. Bye now.